Welcome to Roger Adventures. On this video, I'm gonna show you how I painted this rock that it's titled You Hold the Key. I hope you like this video. I started by painting the rock with gray paint. I used this as a primer, but this is a hull paint that I have laying around on the house. I said it on my previous videos, my son was gonna use it, but he never used it, so I decided to use this paint. So the next step is to start drawing the key where exactly it's gonna go on the rock, so that way I'll have an idea of the rest of the letters that I'm gonna paint on the rock. I started by putting a coat of white paint. All the paints that I use, I'm gonna leave them on the description below. I'm gonna leave the list of other materials that I use my, for my art and crafts videos if you are interested in knowing which ones I use specifically. So once I applied the white paint, I went ahead and used some yellow. On my videos, if you notice, I always mix the paints on the rock. I wanted to show my method of mixing the paints so you can actually see it on the video. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the section below. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you can receive announcements of my next videos. So now that you can barely see the key in the background, I started by painting the rock with black paint and through time I add some other colors as brown and I mix with some white so it can be lighter and also white paint. All the mixing I do it on the rock while it's still wet. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, or in the title of this video, the uh, theme for this rock is you hold the key. You may ask yourself the key of what? You can, you can say you can hold your key to your success, to your happiness, to your surroundings, to your way you see everything because it has a lot to do with, with your attitude, how you are programmed your mind to see everything, especially when you face something difficult or a problem or a situation that is stressful or difficult and the way that you process the problems. For someone, you might think that when a situation is confronted to you, the mind automatically starts thinking on all the negative stuff. Why this happens to me or I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'm not gonna be able to do that. But if you concentrate on the positive side, then you will be able to overcome this problem or situation, and you will realize that it wasn't that bad. Of course, it doesn't apply for everything, but it helps a lot with the attitude that you go and see the world or confront the world. I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, there was this cashier that was working at the convenience store and the way that she thought was not to give good customer service because she was getting paid a minimum wage and she didn't think that she was going to be able to reach much higher position at this store. But someone came and told her that she should have better attitude towards the customers, that she should dress up nicely for the job and she should learn customer service skills. So she did, she took the advice from this guy, very wise guy, and she started to change the attitude towards the clients. When she would see them, she would treat them really good. She would open up to them, ask them questions, how they're doing, giving them compliments and dress up nicely and someone walked into the store and saw how she was treating the customers, 
and and he approached her and told her he needed someone to represent the face of the company he was looking for for a front desk position he was told her that the first impression is always the best and she had the skills and the way she treated the customers was really nice and offered her a job as his company getting paid three times more of what she was getting at this store so as you can see sometimes these attitudes it brings you opportunities in life that if you are not ready for them you will miss them and this does not apply only to a position of a job applies to everything in life as you may know the law of attraction it's about thinking positive seeing yourself doing something that you love and you see it yourself already reached the goal that you have in mind again you hold the key to your success to your happiness and to live a successful and wealthy life so going back to the key as you saw for the shadow i just mixed a little bit of water with the black paint and i painted the suggestion of the key even though it's not exactly as it looks on the top but you get the idea but the important thing is that you paint this rock you can hide it and for someone to find or maybe you just give it as a gift and think of anything inspirational something that can touch their life something that it will bring up their spirit or lift them up if they are in a situation that is not and they will love this rock Again, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video.